In this Squarespace tutorial for beginners, you are going to learn how to use Squarespace to make a website in just minutes. I'll even give you a Squarespace coupon code to get 10% off. So let's get started. Before we start to build our website, we need to open a Squarespace account. To do this, go to the description of this video and over here you will have a link that will lead you to the Squarespace and you will have a 14 days trial period without paying a premium fee. To start, click Login and click Create Account in the top right corner. You can create an account with your email and password or use a Gmail account. I'll use the Gmail account that I created for this purpose. Just click Continue with Google and select your account. As you can see, we successfully created our Squarespace account. To start creating your website, it's a good idea to choose a template. The template is an already created website that you can easily change according to your needs. Squarespace has lots of templates to choose from. You can choose templates by type or topic in this menu over here. And if you scroll down, you can see how they look. If you hover over them, you can preview the template by clicking Preview. The good thing about templates is that you don't need to know how to code websites and if you click up here, you can see how it looks on desktop, tablet and mobile phones. This is called a responsive website and will adapt to any screen. You can also click up here to view the demo site to see how it looks live. When you are ready, click Start with this design to use the template. I'll use this template for the starting point of our website. Over here you can add a website name and click continue. You can see over here how to edit pages, how to create or remove pages, and how to style your website using the styles icon. We will cover these techniques as we progress further with the course. Just click get started. We are now in the editor of our website and over here we will design and control our website. If you click on the Squarespace icon in the top left corner, you will access your dashboard. Over here you can see that we have the website that we created when we choose our template. You can click on the domain tab and over here you can get the custom domain name or transfer the existing one. I'll show you how to get the domain and link it to your website in the later lectures. If you click on the website, it will take you back to the editor. And if you click on the commerce, it will open your website store. You can create additional websites by clicking Create Website. And if you click these three little dots, the menu will appear where you can edit site permissions, billing, change settings, duplicate or delete the website. Click Go to Website to get back to the editor. If I click this question mark, you can see that we started our trial period where we can see how Squarespace works. Also, you can see that we have some tasks like adding logo, pages, change fonts, colors and more which we'll cover in the upcoming lectures. On the left side we have options to change and edit pages. These pages will appear in the menu of your site. We can design our site by changing fonts, colors, browser icons and other things. Also, we have options for an online store, marketing tools, analytics to track visitors and settings like site language, region, social links, domains and more. The main screen is for editing your site sections and arranging website elements. To preview the site, just click this arrow in the upper right corner. Click again to go back to the editor. To actually change things around, click Edit button up here. Over here you can see some blue squares and some options. These will be our main website elements or blocks that we will use to create a website layout. You can edit your header, add new sections, duplicate, move or delete sections as you want. To edit your website style, click on this button and you will be able to edit fonts, colors, animations and more. This style will appear across your entire site and we will use it to define our brand font, colors and animations. If you click Mobile Preview, you will see how your site looks on mobile phones. When you are done with editing, just click Done and over here choose if you want to save or discard changes.
Right now we have only the title of our website. If we want to change the title, we need to click Edit and click Edit Site Header. Over here click on the site title and logo and change title. Also you can add a logo to your site and replace the site title. Luckily Squarespace has a logo design tool that allows us to easily create logos. Let's create one simple logo to demonstrate the tool. Type in the search Squarespace logo maker and click on the link. Over here type in the name of your business. Just choose an icon. I'll type in web. And choose this icon over here and click it. Now just position the icon next to the title and change the color to be 212121. This is a mild black and it looks nice. Also you can resize and change the font style and color by clicking on the text. Over here change color to be also 212121 and font weight to be bold. This color is gonna be one of our brand colors. I'll cover styling and colors in the later lectures. Click Save Logo and click Download. Sometimes the logo will be a little off. So to make it even make sure to click again Edit Logo and try some different positions. You can move the icon with arrows on your keyboard for fine tuning. You can click this little cog icon and turn on and off guides, snapping and size of the grid. Click Save and choose the first option. And download it. Now go again to the editing the site header. Over here choose your logo image. Make sure to also leave the title because of the search engines. This is useful to make your site searchable on the internet. And as you can see the navigation is transparent and you can't see the logo. We need to change that. Just go to colors and turn off this transparent option and there it is. You can change the navigation color at any time. I prefer to keep things simple and easy to see. When someone opens your website they will land on your homepage. They will decide if they browse around or leave right away. To keep visitors on your home page you need to clearly define the website's purpose and goals. It's a good idea to capture visitors with benefits, present them with the options and finally show yourself as an expert in the field and establish credibility. Let's design our hero section. The hero section is the first thing that visitors see when they land on your website. Click edit. If you hover over the image you'll see a blue outline. These blue sections can be image, text, button or video. If you click add section you can choose already built sections that you can use. We will add sections later, let's now edit our hero section. Click close and click on a big text and type in something like this. You can see the text editing toolbar here where you can make text bold, change alignment and add links, headings, add quotes and more. If you mess up this, just click this remove text style to revert back to normal. We can simply delete this top text. You can also see this blue plus button. If you click it, it will allow you to add additional text, buttons, images and more. Now click the button section to edit the button. Over here change text to lead your visitors to your services page where they can see what you offer. Also change link to point to your services page. Just delete and choose services from the drop down menu. You can enable this open in a new window but I prefer to keep visitors on the same browser window. On the left you can choose to link this button to the external website. Download files or contact via email or phone. In the design tab choose button size and alignment. I prefer to keep the default state from our template. Let's now change the background image. To do that click on the edit section button. 
And before we change the image, you can also fine tune the section by changing the section height, content width and content alignment. If you click on these three little dots, you can manually choose the height and width how you like. Now click on the background tab. You can choose between image or video. Video can be connected by pasting a YouTube or Vimeo link in the field. Let's replace the image for our hero section. I have a nice site for free images and videos, it's called Pixabay. Over here you can download anything without crediting the author and it's public domain, so you can use it how you wish. Just be careful not to use images that you don't own, otherwise you risk copyright claims and it will get complicated very quickly. Search for an image you want to add to your hero section. I'll choose some startup example image for the sake of this course. Now click replace and choose the downloaded image. The interesting thing here is this little dot in the middle. This way you can focus on a part of the image you want. Just move it around and see how it works. If you click edit image, you will get lots of options here. You can adjust brightness, contrast, sharpness and more. You can always reset if you mess things up. In the top right corner, you can crop the image by moving black corners or rotate at the bottom. Also, you can crop it by choosing aspect ratio or flip and rotate here. The third tab at the top is for adding effects, so choose one if you need. When you are satisfied, click save. If you scroll a little more, you can choose between full bleed or inset, but I prefer full bleed to look more professional. Also change this opacity over here. Add just enough so the text can be seen better. Add effects over here if you need it. And in the colors tab choose color, but I prefer to keep the default states that we got from the template. Hit done and save to save your changes. As you can see my trial period is over. To continue using the editor we must consider upgrading our plan. Just click this button fix now and you will be taken to the plan section where you can choose 4 different plans. You can also access it by going settings, billing and account and over here click subscribe to reactivate your site. Also you can see what each plan offers so you can tailor this to your business. You can pay it annually or monthly. Good thing is that if you pay annually you can get 30% off. Just fill in your card information. Now in this field make sure to enter our promo code to get an additional 10% off. Great, we successfully upgraded our plan and our site is back in business. Ok, now we are going to add a custom domain to our site. We can see up here that our domain is automatically generated by Squarespace. We don't want to use that for our website. So to change that go settings, domains, click get a domain. Over here type in the domain name that you want to use. You can see that my domain is free. That's because of the business plan that I choose and it comes with one free domain. Click on it and click check out. Over here type in your real information. I'll change this now. When you are done click save and continue. Click confirm and purchase. Now you need to wait up to 72 hours for the domain to be visible on your website. Usually it's a lot shorter. And of course your site will be visible after we publish it live. If you go back to domains you will see that it needs an email verification. So to complete the domain registration just go to your mail and verify the domain. You can leave this auto renew active, but if you plan not to use the website or choose to delete or sell the domain, unselect this, otherwise the domain will be automatically purchased next year. 
And this is how you add your custom domain to the Squarespace. I love this because it's very easy to do because you don't have to work with the DNS servers, domain providers or hosting companies. Everything is easy and straightforward. After we designed our pages and checked if everything is ok, it's time to publish your website. It's a very simple process. You can see down here that the site is private, only contributors can see the site. You can click the button or go settings, site availability, over here choose the public option and click save. You can test it by copying and pasting your domain into the address bar. And as you can see our website is live on the internet under our custom domain. When your site is public all visitors can access your site from your custom domain and the site is accessible to the search engines. And this finalizes our work on the website design. We have a fully functional website with our custom domain connected. Nice, right? Thank you for watching. Clicking the link below to start making your website with Squarespace and check out the link to the complete course.